Hello, welcome back to Mantle Farm. In this video, we're going to take a look to see how our new queens are getting on and to see whether they're now successfully mated and laying eggs. Ugh, right, so we've got we had a look in here, well, a week ago. A week we ago. Didn't see the Queen, did we? No, I don't think so. I'm not sure uh, we saw any brood either, did we? Yeah, no, I don't think we had any evidence. We were a bit concerned that she might not have oh, yeah. made it back. But Fairly quiet. Yeah. And we had we had seen the Virgin in there the week before, I think. We had, yeah, that's true. So, you know, we knew that there was the potential, but they seemed quite quiet and... Mm. Reasonable, so let's have a have a gander. Have a look. And frame two. Mm. Uh, we've got a nice calm collection of bees. We have, yeah. Uh, I think we have eggs, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm sure we've got eggs. There's the queen with a big white dot on her back. Oh yeah, she's. Oh yeah, so they, yes, I think they spotted them on the uh, course at the weekend. Oh, I've lost sight of her now. There she is. We've got eggs on there, so yeah, we, we're away. Oh, fantastic! And they're quite nice. Seem quite nice bees, don't they? Yep. Right, so we hold the crown board at diagonally and give it a jerk. So most of the bees fall off in on top of the frames. Yeah. Number five. Hmm. Kind of expect to find some brood on this one. There's the queen. Oh yes. A bit more lively than the the other one. Yeah. She's marked, She's so marked. we can see her quite clearly. She's trying to creep and around the edge of the. Got We've got eggs in the middle of the top area of this frame. Up there. Hmm. So she's laying. So she's laying. Doing her job. So she's mated, laying. Yeah, quite a quite a biggish queen um, yeah. compared to her mum. Oh well, yeah. Who was removed because she was too little. And on that side we have some pollen up here, around there, and eggs in that area. So yeah, so she's so she's doing a biz. And again, that one we have. Oh, these are older, older larvae. This uh, I can see the the brood food glistening in the bottom of the fr of the cells around here. Uh, yeah. Um, this there's a bit there where there's too much brood food. This happens when the workers have been waiting for the queens to get mated, and they. When she does finally start laying, the first few cells they overcharge with. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, they get a bit excited. With uh, queen, um, what is it? Royal jelly. Royal jelly. Okay, so we've got, I've forgotten. Um, one, two, three, four, is it frames with brood on? I think Something it was. Like that. Something like that, yeah. So. There we go, that one seems to be coming along all right. Yeah. Um, again, we'll, we'll let it get a little bit, a little bit stronger before we put additional uh, frames. foundations, frames in there. <sighs> so, which one are we on to now? We're on to this little poly nuke, where the old queen resides. So we're hoping, well, we're, we're talking last 
last, I think it was last week, we were talking about possibly using this as a, to poach a few frames maybe. Mm -hmm. um, I guess you could also use this for drawing out frames of foundation if you wanted to. Yeah, well I mean they should be quite populous in there. Mm. Um, they do look reasonably we, busy. Yeah. And I suppose if we take a f took a frame of sealed brood from here and put it in one of these other ones and then um, put a sheet of foundation in, then, you know, they would probably at least make a start on it. Mm. Lots of different pollen colours look. Oh, yeah. There's quite a variety coming into this one. Yeah. So they're... Well, that suggests and tells us that they're foraging okay. Yep. And we don't really need to worry There's about... the queen. Feeding her, right she is, yeah. This was a, a fairly um, unproductive queen. So she is notably smaller, isn't she, then? We decided that we'd move her aside but not kill her because uh, she's... The bees, her workers have a nice temperament. Mm. Um, but she just wasn't building up the colony as quickly as we would have expected. Mm. Anyway, so there we are. So she is laying, but as I say, not... Not huge numbers. Not a copious number. And there we are, so that's that one done. I shall do the records. <coughs> okay, so we're around to... Cedar National next. Oh, the sort of biggest colony, isn't it? Yep. The only one at the moment with a super on it. it. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Which isn't quite where we hope to be this time, this time of the season. Might even be adding another super to this one today. Mm -hmm. Well, I think we probably ought to, really, mm. because it's getting quite... Um, well, the one we've got on there already is... is probably two-thirds full or it was last week it might be even more now yeah um, and although we haven't got the full complement of brood like frames in there um, you, know, you don't you don't want them to feel cramped well, we have a quick look at the super now they're drawing them out nicely um, pretty evenly that one's a bit a bit thin on one side but the rest there you can see they're working on them because it's it's really white the wax is really it's white. white isn't it um, what I would like to do if possible mm. is to bring some wide spaces and put these further apart so we'll get the other ones we'll get another box of of frames for them to draw underneath this one. Yeah. And then when they've more or less drawn those, because it's 12 to a box, mm -hmm. there are actually, I think, only 11 in this one, but the other one must be kicking about somewhere. Um, because there were 12 in here originally. Yeah. Um, so with the wide spaces, you get eight to a box, eight frames to a box plus a little bit of wiggle room. Uh, so, two lots of 12 divides nice and neatly into three lots of eight. Mm. And if you've got four sets of woodwork less in the box, then it's four sets of woodwork more space for honey. Yeah. yeah. Um, and the bees will do it. Um, and then, and not only that, but it makes uncapping easier as well. And then subsequent years, you start off with frames that are that wide instead of that wide. Yeah. Um, so it's less work, less work for the bees to do in subsequent years, which um, probably helps with the, because they're using um, energy derived from nectar to, produce the wax mm. 
and the heat that they need to produce the wax. So if you can put, you can require them to produce less wax, then they're using less of the nectar they're bringing in to produce wax and more of it is going into storage in the, in the cells. So I'm going to take that one out from the outer area and swap it for one of these fatter ones from the in, near the near the center and last week we put this at right angles to the brood frames to try and get them to even up the yeah the distribution and they and it appears to have worked quite well um, yeah because they were concentrating mostly on the middle weren't they mm. and that's drawn quite nicely so from end to end got end to end there and actually start to cap it now if we do do the the spacer thing which you know is not absolutely a certainty mm. um, we may need to have a quick scrub with a an uncapping fork just to take the the cappings off the bits that they've already capped oh yeah because they won't bother uncapping it because they won't uncap it, out, it and draw it out they'll just draw out the bits around the capped f cells and uh, yeah so there you go all right pull that back in there so that one should get drawn a bit a bit more readily in the middle nearer to the center um well i mean you we can see that they're they're working pretty thoroughly all through the box so we don't really need to do, go any further with that I'm just going to put the cover board back over it and uh, take the whole thing off and put it down to one side and get on with looking into the brood chamber. Why you're wondering is this idiot taking all these little tiny bits of wax off the dummy board? Well it's because if it's a bit sticking out from a dummy board, then it's very likely another bit sticking out from the actual comb. Mm. So when we put it back together, that's where the bees will be congregating to clean up the break that you've just made. So when you cram them back together, if there's bits sticking out both ways, then the bees get squashed. Another new frame. A new frame with seal brood and larvae uh, seen eggs on that side and look on the other side that's we can see the, the way the wire is on that one mm -hmm. can't we? So this yeah they tend to leave the cells with the reinforcing wires for the first one or two cycles of brood and then after that um, presumably this they get sort of waxed over or footprinted over or something over and, and they just ignore them after that and then you get solid sheets of of brood. Right, last frame. More brood again. On this side we've got capped brood. Mm-hmm. You're looking at cat brood as well. A lot of bees on this one. Oh yeah. Got capped brood. Uh, I imagine the queen's in this lot somewhere. I think she's been trotting along in just in front of the inspection. Mm. Stepping from frame to frame. There she is, right the, near the middle. Just going downwards. Oh yeah. And she's a big one. Yeah, quite uh, fast though. Quite quick. Yeah, anyway, so there we are. Well, I think maybe we'll put a frame of foundation somewhere in the middle for them. Mm. They really aren't happy, are they? No. Nah. Right, so put that in in the middle. Uh, that was the one, wasn't it, with the all stores in. 
Right. What's that? No, 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 And get down in there. Go on. Behave. <laughs> Have more than enough out of you lot. Super of foundation. So that can just go straight on as it is, can't it? Yep. And to play around with that. Um, I'm going to put all of the. Because some of them are drawn, and some of them aren't. I'm going to take all the drawn ones and put them to the outside. Mm -hmm. Do you think they'll do? They'll fix that up, that one. Yeah, I mean they'll, they'll they'll draw it, but they might leave the holes, but they it won't really matter because. Um, well, there'll know. be a fair bit of honey, hopefully, in there. A lot of honey, anyway. Again, we've got one there with a couple of four holes in. Right, come on, you lot. Get out of there. There we go. So they're all together. Right, so here we go with. Um, uh, this was basically a spare, wasn't it? Mm. Right, okay, let's... Have a look. Have a look. And we haul that one out, and we've got uh, quite a good frame of sealed brood. Um, oh, yes. Again, because of the way we've made this new cup, um, we've got... Very few young bees at the moment. Um, so these are all quite elderly bees now. Mm. Which is why there aren't a huge lot of them. Um, but they are relatively speaking as good as gold. And the next generation is not far away. And the next generation is just about to emerge, I think. I don't want to go too overboard with uh, foundation because there Gives are too much to do, doesn't not a huge number of bees in any of these colonies and if you put too much foundation in to start with then you wind up with those frames with all the holes where they've just gnawed holes in the foundation instead of actually doing anything with it. So we put that in there and that will hopefully encourage them to get drawing that out um, and if we leave this gap here then with a bit of luck they'll draw this one out and the queen will lay in it rather than Stepping across and laying in this one, which is, as I said, already drawn, but fairly, mm. fairly horrible. Um, so you know they'll still have this one as a as a a stores frame, but uh, yeah. hopefully leaving the gap there, they won't include it in the brood nest. Hmm. Right, so there we go. They were. Bit nicer, wasn't it? Bit nicer. And that frame's just all pollen on that side. That's nice. And all fresh pollen on that side. That's nice pollen, isn't it? Hmm. Hmm. And they've begun drawing this sheet of foundation here. I'm just starting to draw it. It's not, um, I think there's just not enough bees really, to be honest. Mm. Uh, but at least they're not chewing holes in it, which is a plus. Mm. There we go with the other one. Again, we've got drone, we've got seal brood. Few eggs. Uh, 
screen over there, look. Marked. Yeah. Got pollen. Not a lot of food. Maybe we should feed them as well. Uh, I just thought of something else as well. What was I going to do? I've forgotten. I'll oh, take the other varroa thing out if it's in there. It's propolis. Uh, I think that might be a mountain mite. Um, not many on there. That will have a wax moth caterpillar lurking about it somewhere. Hmm. That's a little that. So I mean, it's not much a miss there. Don't think. That's it then. Yep. Anything you want to say? Any final words? Um, no, I don't think so. We're all progressing, more or less, as yeah. we expected. Yeah. You know, at least we've got. A queen in every, in every box. Yeah. Which is more than I can say for my apiary. <laughs> so we'll check them again next week then. Yep. See you all next week. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy what we do here at Mantle Farm. Don't forget to like and subscribe and to keep up to date with our latest videos here on YouTube.